Hello everyone, so I wanted to do a video to recap a little bit of the um, problems, the business problems from last week that some of you had a little trouble with. Um, and so we're going to look at that. So this is with uh, the discount and most of you on quite a few of these questions didn't account for the total amount of cases or bottles that were purchased. Um, and so basically you have to um, account for all of those first before you apply the discount. So in this case, a pharmacy purchases four cases of base ointment at $100 each. The supplier offers a 20% discount if the account is paid in full within 30 days. Uh, how much will the pharmacy pay? So the first thing that we have to do is figure out what the total amount of the bill is going to be. So in this case, we have four cases, right? And they're $100 each. So four times 100 is $400, okay? So that's the total bill, all right? So what we have to do now is calculate what is that 20% off of the $400. So, you are going to multiply 400 times 0 0.20, that is 20%, and that's gonna give you $80, okay? So the discount is 80, is $80 off. So now we have to take 400 minus 80, okay? And that gives us, what is that, 420? Oops, can't even do math today, sorry. Sunday. 320. <laughs> Thank you to my assistant over here. It should be $320, okay? So 400 minus 80 is $320. So at the end, they purchased four cases at $100 each, totaling $400. 400 times the 20% off is 80. So we subtract 400 minus 80, and we get 320. Bless you. Sorry. So now we're going to move on to another type of problem here, okay? And we're going to look at... So these type of problems here are, we have a particular product that we have purchased at a particular price. We have a dispensing fee involved, okay? So in this case, Nystatin, a bottle of Nystatin costs the pharmacy $20.75. That's our AWP, that's how much we purchase it for. It costs us $5.25 to dispense this bottle. Um, and, and the dispensing fee is, is part of, or is calculated based off of things like pharmacy personnel's time, pharmacy supplies used, shipping, and then the cost of maintaining the supply. So they factor all of that in and they determine what type of dispensing fee they wanna add to that. So it says if a 20% profit is the goal of the product, what should the selling price be? or what is the selling price that is required for this product. So what you have to do here is calculate 20%, okay, but not on the dispensing fee, 
okay? So that 20% is on the AWP, okay? So you're gonna multiply the average wholesale price or what the pharmacy purchases it for times the 20% because we want a 20% profit. So $20.75 times the 20% is $4.15. Okay, so now if this is question A and this is question B, A is $20.75 plus the $4.15, that's the 20%, okay? and we get 24.90. So that's how much we're going to sell that particular product for if we want a 20% profit. Now at the end it says what is the gross profit? What is the gross amount that we make? Okay? So we have to add our dispensing fee plus what we're going to sell it as. So $24.90 plus the $5.25 dispensing fee, okay? We should get $30.15. So this is the total amount that we're selling it for, okay? We've calculated the, the percentage on there that we want to make as a profit. That's where we get the $24.90. Now we've added our dispensing fee. So when a patient comes in and purchases this, they're going to be purchasing it for $30.15. So it says, what is our gross profit? Well, $30.15 minus $20.75 because that's what we paid for it. And that gives you what we made. So we made a $9.40 profit. So this is the answer for B, and that is the answer for A. Okay, we're gonna do another one. So number two here, all right? A bottle of amoxicillin costs $43. It takes $3.50 to dispense it. Again, calculating pharmacy personnel time, um, pharmacy supply, shipping costs, um, any fees or, or money it takes to maintain the supply. If a 15% profit is the goal, what is the required selling price? So again, we're going to go and calculate that strictly based off of what we pay. So $43 times 0.15, that's the 15%, to calculate how much we need to add to what we've paid to make a 15% profit. $6.45. cents. So that's what we need to add. So 43 plus six dollars and 45 cents. Okay, 
We get 49.45. So this is what we sell it for, the selling price. Okay, so that answers the first question. So the second question is, what is the gross profit? Okay, so on B, we have to add our new selling price plus our dispensing fee. Okay, so 49.95. Sorry, $49.45 plus the $3.50 is $52.95. This is the patient cost, okay? They're paying um, what we're selling it for, which includes that 15% profit plus the dispensing fee. So when it asks what is our gross profit, we need to subtract. So $52.95 minus the 43 because that's our original cost. And we get $9.95. That is how much we have made on the product. Okay? So a $49.45 selling price and we have a gross profit of $9.95. We'll do one more. So here we are again. A bottle of prednisone costs fifty-six dollars. Again, that's average wholesale price. That's how much the pharmacy is paying for it. It takes four dollars and fifty cents to dispense a bottle. So that is our dispensing fee. Again, taking into account uh, pharmacy personnel time, pharmacy supply, shipping, um, and any cost incurred for maintaining the supply. The twenty-five percent profit is the goal. What is the required selling price? So for A, we're going to take 56 times 0.25, which is 25%, and we get $14. So we need to add 56 plus 14, okay, 70. So the selling price we should be selling it for, for a 25% profit is $70. So now it says, what is the gross profit? Okay. So $70, we have to add our $4.50 dispensing fee. Okay. So $74.50 is what the patient actually pays. So 74.50 minus the 56. We get 18.50. Okay, so on this bottle, we've calculated what we need to sell it at, right, for the 25% profit, which is $70. We calculate that $70 plus our dispensing fee. So $74.50 is what the patient actually pays. So what they actually pay is $74.50 minus what we pay or what we buy it for. And we make an $18.50 profit.
profit on that, okay? So your daily assignment is this. Um, make sure you get in there and do that. Um, it's gonna take a while to go through all of these steps. Um, remember my office hours are Monday through Friday, eight to five, so email me. I'm checking my emails constantly. If you have a question or concern, you're unsure of something, make sure you email me, okay? Have a good day.